Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make fire cake, which is a type of bread that Revolutionary War soldiers used to eat. It's a combination of flour, water, and salt, and it was cooked over the fire, or on a rock over the fire, meaning it was generally really overcooked on the outside and raw on the inside. They didn't have any yeast or leavening agents, so it was really dense and just hard to eat, and it didn't taste like anything because they usually didn't have any uh, seasonings to put into it but it was their best bet for survival because it was cheap and easy to make and the government wouldn't give them anything else to eat. So to start, I have about a half a cup of flour and around three teaspoons of salt. I'm just gonna mix that together with a fork until it's like well combined. Okay, once that's done, you wanna add water until it becomes like a thick, damp dough, but you don't want it to be too sticky because otherwise it won't cook. Okay, so here is my finished dough. It kind of looks like a pizza dough, but it's a little more stickier. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ball, I'm just going to flatten it out in my hand so that it's flat enough that when it cooks, it will cook evenly and properly. So now I have my fire cake dough on the pan. It's a really hot pan, and it should cook evenly on both sides. It should be brown by the time it's done. This is how it looks as I'm cooking it. It's like kind of brown, but it's not golden brown because it really doesn't have anything to cook on. Um, it should look at, like this on both sides by the time it's done. That's when you know it's ready to eat. So this is the final product. This is the fire cake. It doesn't look as bad as I expected. I think because I cooked it on the pan, not the fire, like the soldiers would. Um, when I like break it open, it looks really dense and just not really appetizing. It looks kind of gray. Okay, I'm going to try a bite of this. Okay, it, it kind of tastes like chewy because there's no leavening agent, there's no way it can rise. Um, and it only really tastes like anything because I put salt in it, which the soldiers didn't even have. Um, if I were to say whether or not I would eat this, I would say no because it doesn't really taste that great and it doesn't really chew well. Thankfully, I am not a soldier. I do not have to eat this as my meals.